hey you guys welcome back to another story time when i said i had stories for days i actually meant it because today we have another story time um yeah thank you so much to the love you showed the other story time but i didn't think that you guys would actually like it i wanted to delete that video honestly because i was just afraid that people would judge me and then somehow i thought you know what it's my story it's my experience let me just put it out there if anyone judges me that's on them and luckily you guys were like very respectable i didn't get any weird comments and for that cheers <laughs> so today's story type is i actually have two they're actually quite short so i'll give the story very fast and you'll see boy okay the first one is how i got scammed in nairobi and i lost my phone the second one is i was almost scammed when i was buying a tv let's start with the phone one so um that particular day i was going to work and i remember very well that i was working in town and i work kwa a certain shop and i was on the second shift like in the afternoon so i was just busy heading to work minding my business <laughs> and then you know how you're just walking and then utapatana na mtu angushe bahasha and then they lie to you that they've wameokota pesa yeah that's what happened i was on this street called ronald ngala yeah and i was just nilikuwa na panda towards archives nikienda kazi right so i was just minding my business you know just the usual and then mbele like there was someone who was coming in front of me and i didn't even think much about it he happened to drop um bahasha now so when he dropped it he just continued working and you know me when when you're in nairobi like just mind your business honestly just mind your business so after he dropped it i didn't think much about it me I just continued working so apparently there was another guy who was behind me but the one who was behind me is kwana muona so this guy who was behind me akakuja mbio and he made sure that i saw him aki collect your bahasha so after he collected it he started talking to me and he started convincing me that he wanted kunigawia some of the money that he had collected and imagine at the back of my mind i had this feeling that this guy actually wanted to steal from me like i, I couldn't just shake that feeling nilikuwa tunafikiria like whoa what if this guy wants to steal from me but i just decided to you know what let me let me just give him a chance this guy what what he's on about so the guy akateku ni convince akaniambia because i've seen him collecting the bahasha he wants us to govern your pesa because he's afraid that since nimemwona kiokota i'm going to nitamuitania watu wengine wakuzo wamnyang'anye pesa you know that is pretty convincing if you ask me i was young and i was naive okay so no judgments <laughs> So um yeah unasikia sasa ameni convince ameniambia anataka kunigawia pesa and then somehow honestly but they to lishinda hapo back and forth nikamwambia no because ni wewe umeokota and it is your luck you just go with the money i'm okay honestly your time nilikuwa nimesota and the thought of someone kunigawia pesa sounded good to me so at least nikajifanya tu nikasema hmm, no it's okay since you you're the one who has collected the bahasha you just go with the money the guy insisted that he no 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 madam you seem like <laughs> you look like someone who could use use some help na ni mungu tu ame ame nipea hii bahati nikaokota hii pesa so i really want us to govern hii pesa okay ah nikamwambia guys can you imagine na nikamwambia no you you just want to st to steal from me wewe unataka kuniibia that, that was, i remember nikimwambia wewe unataka kuniibia akaniuliza madam ni nini naweza kuibia na nikamwambia mtaka kuniibia simu so he happened to see the phone that i was using that time and it was a very basic phone i remember actually and then he went ahead and told me madam hiyo simu yako hata ukinipatia hata kuna mtu mwenye naweza uzia it's pretty cheap it's a pretty cheap phone like I will, i'm not i'm not interested in your phone that's what he basically said <laughs> and i actually believed him so we continued walking to Kenya towards archives cuz yeah I was going to work and he continued convincing me and I remember Adi akiniuliza like what was my name yani these guys you guys these guys are very clever like when you wanaingizanga mtu box watch to so akaniuliza so what's your name nikamwambia anaitwa Stacy and then he goes ahead and tells me that he also has a daughter na anaitwa Stacy 
y'all. No, 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 wait a minute. Like, bro, yani umse alilidanganya na nikaingia box and I actually believed it. And I'm not going to lie that alinipulizia madawa, no. This one was pure convincing. Like, he literally just convinced me na nikaingia box. <laughs> Imagine. So, tukatembe the archives. And then, of course, I was also, like, a bit skeptical. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I wasn't even thinking that ata angenitisha phone. So, I was thinking, I'm going to So, I held my phone, like, vizuri yadi nikayeka kwa mfuko niko, like, bro, not today. So, tukaendelea tu hivi ya kiniambia, nataka tu ni kugawia pesa. And that bahasha was very real, guys. Aki ilikuwa inakani ukweli kabisa. Like, the way ilikuwa imepangwa, you could clearly tell that ni pesa ziku hapo ndani. So, like I've mentioned, of course, I was broke. And the thought of someone kunigawia pesa was sounding very okay to me. So, tukaendelea hivi, tukatembea, tukaenda archives. So, venye tulifika archives, he tried to tell me to ingia kwa, kulikuwa na tuchuomu. Every time to get embedded, when the best thing is and then I'm like, "Apana, apa na yen tapigo angeta no." So I told him, "Let's go and sit somewhere open." So na juapo ako yus kunakwanga na places iso vitis e nyawatu na ketingi. So I told him, "Let's go and look for a place open." We sit, we get a pesa basi. If you insist, I mean, this guy had insisted that I did not take a kuni get a pesa. Sawa. Guys, come on. If it was you, at I am to na kuambia. Like now, I know better, but that time I was naive. I have, I had never heard of this story before. I think Bahasha, no, that was like sick way scary history before. So I didn't know any better. So before you judge me, imagine if it was you, and ato kuwa like before that sick way ibiwa. Like, you know, sikuwe ibiwa, and then, now I have this person who wants kunikawia pesa. I didn't know it was a tactic. So, in my defense, I was naive, and I was really in need of some money. So, to kind of archives, we sat down, and so now I had convinced him, wacha tuketi hapa, mbele, tugawane pesa. And imagine he agreed, we went and sat down, he gave me the bahasha, so when I was opening it, he convinced me again, akaniambia, no, wait, usifungwe, you can't just open, you can't just open this man here, when everyone is looking at you, like, tuneza pigu angeta hapa, na tunyanganywe pesa, mkamiliza, okay, so what are you suggesting, because I'm not going with you anywhere that is secluded, I had already made that clear, akaniambia, what I'm going to do is, you seem like a very trustworthy person, so I'm going to give you uh, some coins. Actually, I'll give you the coins. I'll coins. I'll give you the washrooms. And then I was like, bro, no. I'm not using my 10 shillings. So he gave me his 10 shillings. Yeah, that guy was determined. Listen, that guy was determined. <laughs> he gave me 10 shillings. You seem like a very trustworthy person and I trust you. I'm just hoping that utaena ugawe pesa yako and then you bring me the rest. He told me that kwayo basha kulikuwa na 50k and he wanted ni tu 5,000 ni mrudishie the rest. Guys, I'm a very trustworthy person and I really believe that if bahashe kwa na pesa and I was very like, yeah, ni tu 5,000 ni mrudishie. Because this is someone mwenye ata ni zui and he is willing to give me 5,000, you know? Like that, that is what my brain was convincing me. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, um, so he gave me his 10 shillings, guys. His 10 shillings. So I was very convinced that there is no way this guy is trying to steal from me. And he waited for me, Nikenda. Nikenda kulipa. Like, that guy was so strategic, you know. Nikenda kulipa hapo kwa cho. He called me again. So I went back. Akaniambia, you know what? Um, unajua sasa umeniata without security. How sure am I? that you will actually come back with them. And Kawambia, so you just told me that I seem like a very trustworthy person. Now you don't believe me. I no, actually believe you. But just to be safe on my side, now this is the guy telling me, just to be safe on my side, um, niache tu simu yako, and then, <laughs> niache tu simu yako, actually crying and laughing at the same time, because every time I remember how that guy literally Aliniingiza box. Anyway. So, akanembea give me your phone. And I'll just be standing here waiting for you. Ugawe pesa, unirudishie the rest. Little Miss Naive, nika mpatia simi yangu. 
guys he had already convinced me that he was not interested in my phone that's one two there was a, some certain connection i mean so i was like there's no way this guy is going to steal from me like he seems very trustworthy and we had a very long walk guys but they unona tulipata na naivas nyuma ya naivas tukatembea all the way at the archives like we are just talking him trying to convince me you see so, so at that time I, I had also put some trust in him and i was like sawa you know what i need that five thousand and i'm going to risk it so ni kampe simu ni simu and he actually waited for me ni katembea those steps hadi place yenye unalipianga pesa na kwambia the moment i gave out my 10 shillings nikiangalia nyuma zake literally ran nikimwangalia na macho hivi like alikimbia nikimwangalia na macho i was shocked and i just stood there thinking like whoa wait a minute yani ni maybe wa like like imagine guys always start is always trust your gut feeling imagine like i literally up like i've said i was telling him i think we will not talk to you like of course that was my gut feeling telling me just run for your life you know just run for your life but ile pupa nilikuwa nayo i still wanted the money imagine that guy ran miki mwangale vina macho so kasema tu kama he has run with my phone then I, there's no way this is money kasema tu acha niingie ndani nione what's up bro nikaingia <laughs> and then bahasha ilikuwa imeja gazeti and there was 100 shillings hapo juu so nikasema okay so i guess i've sold my phone for 100 shillings he said 100 bob guys i know this is like the oldest trick in the book but they actually still do it till this day till this day guys i know history kila mtu anaijua venye wanaibianga watu but i believe if, if they still do if they are still doing it until now it means there's still a market for it and there are people who are still naive till this day till this day guys yo So my phone came and I go I went to work I didn't even tell anyone because it's a pretty embarrassing story if you ask me I didn't even talk to anyone at work I was just depressed the whole time thinking how now I need a budget for a new phone I need a budget for a new phone and I literally gave the phone to him acha say this ama ni nyanganya ama ni drug I wouldn't even say that I literally gave my phone to him and yeah that's how nilibiwa nilikaribishwa Nairobi. Kwani wewe ujui Nairobi? Hivyo ndo nilikaribishwa guys. Bro, every time I remember that story, I just I just applaud that guy because the way he convinced me, he would have also convinced you if you didn't know that that was a tactic of kuibiwa. Like if you just met him na uko unajua like he was trying to steal from you guys, you would have also believed it. So nowadays me hata nikiangalia na mtu tao, I'm like, bro, mm -mm. I don't even respond. Like excuse me no, please if you're lost, look for somebody else. Look for somebody else to do it, not me, not today. So, yeah, he going to be like revision day obi. Na simu ikaenda till this day. I just have experiences and stories to tell. So, yeah. That happened. Now, that's the first one. The other one I had mentioned ilikuwa ya ku ya venye nilienda ku buy TV. <laughs> And when you nilienda ku buy TV and I almost almost got scammed meaning they didn't succeed but they almost almost did it. So hiyo siku I was loaded guys. I wanted to buy like a really really big TV and it was kitambo ni zile TV zenye zilikwamba na like a big bag you know and I wanted to have like a really big TV. So nikaenda with my money nikaenda kwa actually nilienda Luthuli Avenue if I remember correctly and it's crazy because i've had this story just recently ni mesikia tiktok somebody say um she also went to luthuli and she was scammed actually yali be like you just give out the no let me just but ni malizia story yangu then i'll tell you the story of that lady mwenye nilisikia tiktok so nikaingia tu kwa random shop nilikuwa imeandikwa samsung hapo juu like crazy nilikuwa imeandikwa samsung hapo juu and i was alone 
So nikaingia kwa certain shop they had like really big TVs and I noticed one that was really nice ilikuwa kwa display and I wanted it and kwa shop the, the shop that I went into they also had other people that were buying so it was pretty legit it was looking pretty legit to me I mean it's a shop people are buying I could see like receipts being written so I was pretty confident I was living there with a really nice TV so this guy comes and talks to me and so not after TV in a car day, what are you looking for I told him at that time I didn't even have like a lot of things that I was looking for in a TV I just knew that I wanted a big TV, honestly. <laughs> so, um, actually, I pointed, I, I pointed out the TV that I wanted, and we negotiated, and then he wrote the receipt, and I gave him the money. Right? So, don't forget that this shop, there are other people who are buying, there are other people who are selling, and I can clearly see the TVs. So, this guy, na I have a uniform, by the name, I have a shop. Pretty legit, right? No, can be in Nairobi. But only crazy, like crazy. So the guy goes ahead and tells me, um, so now because you've identified the TV that you want, is this and you and is a display. Let me go to our store. I come up, I come down with your TV. Where is the store? Like store. I can say my store ukon yo kwenye waneka the new TVs and I is in it display because one ikona vumbi and two near display, right? Come us out. Guys, I waited. I waited for my guy for almost two hours. store. I have already given the money and I have the receipt, guys. Then I started getting concerned now. I asked the other guy who was selling, um, the guy said that like that's now when I started panicking because I was like no no fucking way so um so when I asked the other guy that's now when I started feeling yeah, something was wrong here so I can he didn't even notice the guy who I was talking to so I showed him the receipt and he told me you just wait the guy will come so I waited and I waited guys three hours zime Peter now hey so sani kanza shida guys ni kanza shida I started now telling the other guy, wewe unasema kuzemuona and you are clearly standing next to him. Of course unamjua, cause hii receipt is easy kwa nimejiandikia. I need my TV right now, ama mnirudishia pesa, I go to another shop. The guy started talking between themselves, nukawambia, but I'm not living here, ama I'm calling the police. Guys, easy shops, by the way, don't, do not usibiwe in broad daylight, by the way. Let us shida. This guy... Like it's crazy. Did they just expect me to walk out of the shop and be like, "Oh well, sawa basi, kama ujamwana ni sa." No. No ways because I was not leaving that shop. Nikaleta shida nikamwambia I want to talk to the manager. Yeah, I want to talk to the manager because I have paid for my TV and I want it. So they called some random guy akakuza. I just I'm just exhausted nikipea na history because I remember it. <laughs> Okay, so some guy akakuza akani convince akaniambia now the TV yenye uliuziwa is not um TV yenye uliuziwa the money is not enough you need to add more money. Nikamwambia hapana? No 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 I want what I paid for. The guy who was here clearly told me that this TV was so and so amount and I want my TV. So it's either mni pay TV ama if it's not enough give me back my money but I go to another shop. So now they didn't want to give me back my money. Wakisema goods one sold. Goods one sold. Where is my goods? <laughs> where is my TV because goods one sold cannot be returned. Okay, but where are my goods? <laughs> where are my goods? So uyo manager kaniambia the only TV that this amount is enough for is another TV kalikuwa tu kadogo hadi when i got that TV i remember nikienda home and i was telling myself e TV kama haina mawe nyuma i will be happy if it actually ikiwaka nitashanga sana cuz hao watu tulisukumana nao sana so akaniambia he convinced me to like get another smaller TV and honestly, at a say, when I think of the amount I paid for that TV, I feel like I was heavily scammed, heavily, and I say heavily. But at this point, I was like, it's either I lose my money, I leave that shop without my money, or the TV. So I just settled. You know, also I'm a, I'm a girl. Like, oh, what, 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 when you be everything else, someone when you turn, you know, when you're a girl, you're a bit intimidated because you're also dealing with men. So at this point, this is exhausting. I'll 
make more money than it uh, by another TV if I want to. At this point, I just want to be done with these people. Nienda to home. So he convinced me to take another smaller TV. And then Kasema Nisawa too, let me just take it. Nikanda home and it was working okay. But like I just think so the other game when Yali Nuzia never came back. <laughs> he never came back and that was that. So I don't know how they coordinated, but I'm pretty sure th those guys like they just work together and that's what they do. Wanas kamingi watu. So this other lady when Yali kwa TikTok and Asema, Aliena ku buy TV then akambiwa. At your TV, it needs a certain setting. I don't actually go to remember the story, but I'll go and say, Maria Mbuiwa, that she needs to pay for another extra amount for TV and you buy a settings. And I remember a certain talk, come on, guys, nearly this story in Yakitambo. I remember even that guy here after I identified the TV, I'll go and say, now this TV and you meta unataka, it on a certain settings. You have to add money. You have to add money. Come on, be a pana. I don't have more money. Come on, settings, I'll sort it out. Nikifika nyumbani. That's when I end up. So this other lady wa TikTok akisema evo. Ini juzi actually akisema alena kubai TV after hamebaya kambiwa. It needs some certain settings. And then I remember that talk nikiambiwa evo kwa that other shop. So these things bado zijaisha, bado ziko. And it's crazy because Yo time niliena kubaya yo TV, niliena Luthuli Avenue. And this TV that I have, I also bought it from Luthuli. And it was pretty okay. So I guess you just need to be careful on the shops that you're going. I might just buy from um, someone that you know. Like for example, if you have a friend, mumbe tuwa kupeleke kwenye Libai TV. Don't go to random shops in Nairobi. Don't. That's what I can say. So yeah, that's how I was almost scammed. So ni kenda home na TV yangu and it worked pretty okay. And I was actually shocked because at that point it was like, these guys wanted to steal my money. So if... ETV ata ikiwaka ni mungo tu. By the way, ETV ata ikiwaka ni mungo tu. So, thank God it worked okay. And kutoka hiyo siku, lesson learned. Anytime, and it's crazy that it has come to this, but it better be, it's better to be careful than to regret later, right? So, from then onwards, anytime I need to buy any electronics, I go with a guy. Guys, I go with a guy because I feel like if you're just alone now any day, and it's very unfortunate that it has come to these guys. It's very unfortunate that because you're a lady, now they feel like they can steal from you easily. So heavy electronics, of course, you come easy in dog on dog, even phones, even phones. Don't go to buy concert town like a random shop in India too. Don't don't do it. Ama just go with a man. I feel like they are more intimidated by men. Or kiona ni mwanaume, they are a bit more cautious. But kama ni dey more like she's a lady after all, what can she do? So yeah, those are just my that's my advice. Kama ni dey and you want to buy like something electronic, just go with a man or even better, save up and go to a supermarket. Ununua kitu yako ikiwa na warranty vizuri and you know at Yaribika, you can easily get it, take it back now yeah so just go to the supermarket or if you're on a budget of course because the prices for supermarkets na kwa other shops shops they are very affordable but now you can't know who is legit and who is not that's the thing so if you on a budget just go with a man just go with a man and ama just also buy from a verified dealer hey Nairobi no, Robbie is crazy, guys. So, yeah. Um, I had said that this story, I'll make it as short, but no, no it has gone for too long. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I just wanted to give this story and yeah, that's it. So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.